Hey everybody, Benny DeBeast here with the fourth tutorial in this series of how to create custom Beat Saber maps. Today is going to be focused solely on lighting and I'll be giving you the basics to help you get started creating a fun light show for your map. First things first, head into the options and disable waveform. What this is going to do is reduce lag whenever you're uh, messing with the lights and recording as well. It'll be less choppy. And then what I want to do is walk you through the different lights. So you have backdrop lasers. You can select them and turn them on by hitting one. And what those look like are the big X's in the back. You have your track ring neons that lights up the track ring on the outside. You have your left and right lasers. Those are on the other side, opposite sides of the track. Um, in the nice environment, however, these two are top and bottom. So left is your top, right is your bottom. You then have the bottom, back, and side lasers. That's going to be your central lasers coming down the track at you. And then you have these four options, ring rotating. Ring rotation is the outer rings giving it movement. Not only the outer rings, sorry, also the inner rings. Uh, small ring zoom is focused on the small rings, and it will move them, zoom them in or zoom them out. And then you have your left, laser, left and right laser speeds. So when they're at a... Let's set them to zero first to begin with. When they're at zero, they'd stand still. So you can use them just like any, they look like any other light. Um, and then they max at eight. So this is the fastest speed that they'll rotate at. So you can play with all these numbers in between and change them up to create uh, movement and to highlight different ideas in the song. Da, 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 da. To bring up this menu, you press tab, if I hadn't said that already. Uh, you have blue and red as your main lights, uh, your only colors of lights. And then you have these selections. Uh, off, on, flash, and fade. So you can look at each of the individual blocks and you know exactly which ones they are. On is just stagnant. Uh, whenever it hits, it is just on. Flash, it gives you a little bit of a soft on. And then fade, fades out. Bloop. So basically, you can use these different um, types of effects with your lights um, in a whole bunch of creative ways uh, to make a fancy light show. What I want to do now is I want to take you through this song, Last Chance to Alipa, and just show you, talk through some of the ideas I had while creating it to help you uh, on your path to making your own lighting. Whenever I have uh, loud hits um, and they maintain throughout the song, I'll use the flash. Whenever it's a hit that's a hit, um, but it doesn't carry through, it's not like a hard synth that's held, I'll use the fades. So I tend to use a lot of fades. Um, especially in the intro building up. And then you'll see that this was a, a vibrating effect that I was using with these fades um, coming on and off. I was focusing on the pin drop hits with those back top lights um, and with this intro I gave it the ring rotation for movement and the zoom um, and so it makes a strong intro there. So there's not a lot of movement in the song. I put them in a 1, um, and then whenever it gets over here, I amp it up to a 2, and then I start adding in more lights for more energy. And you can see I'm adding it on the main hits in this section um, to give it more power and energy as the song goes along. I'm also playing with the rings rotation, so whenever it's a strong hit, I do that rings rotation. And then whenever it's a secondary hit, I'll usually, sometimes I'll do another rings rotation, but I liked playing with the zoom option at that point. Then we came upon a different section. I started adding more lights with this bass that started hitting. 
Um, I, I was matching the back top laser to the synth. And instead of using the same light, I like to alternate lights, as you see here. It gives every, every section a different feel um, by switching it. And it, it could change the energy of the section just by changing the light color. Ooh, I totally just ruined that. Um, this was a mega hit, so I blew that one up. And, and whenever you give time before a light like this, so they fade out, um, you could also turn these off to make um, the next hit an even more powerful hit. There's different techniques you can use. Uh, I would highly recommend, if you haven't done so, check out other people's maps. Go and find mappers that you like and mappers whose lighting that you've enjoyed and see how they do things and take from their ideas. Um, it's always cool to ask, though, if you want. Ooh, and then this is that build-up that I uh, really enjoy. What you do is you can hit all of these notes and then turn them off just after them. Uh, you definitely have to make sure you know how to use cursor precision and play with that because I'm hitting these as half notes and then it gets up into quarter notes as I'm hitting each one and then I'm making sure to turn it off just a, just a moment after. I'm still continuing the energy through the song with um, the rings rotating um, and then, ooh, I've even amped up uh, the light movement here for this section. Oh, what a fun, what a fun section. So again, it goes through all of these uh, quick on and offs, which makes it uh, staccato. It's mimicking that drum roll. And then with this, this is a fun little piece that I use, um, that a lot of mappers use actually, um, where you set a bunch of notes next to each other, and then you go in between the notes. So these are all quarter notes, and then I go into the eighth note right in between them, and I can set them off. And so it does a quick, a quick on off, on off, on off, like that. It's um, fun to watch. I've also amped up this energy over here, still turning the lights off immediately, um, but I've added two each time instead of uh, one back in this section in the buildup. Oh, another one of those moments where you quickly turn things off and on. Um, another thing I've done about this sec with this section is I've started using flash. So everywhere else I was using fade, but now the energy is very strong and holding that you'll see I'll flash these red and uh, left and right lasers as well as the top, back, and bottom and sides, <laughs> whichever ones they are. And now they're holding strong. And these are some nice big hits. I could have um, changed it and done some some of this um, to add more energy whenever you're going through each one. Uh, just a little, just some little tips that um, all the things you can do. You can add so much um, if you have the mind for creativity. Uh, you can add so much to the lighting.
The other thing I want to mention is definitely pay attention to the song. Listen to the dynamics of the song for each section. And so this section is a quiet section, so I only have my one light going. You know, it's not, I'm not overloading everybody like I was in these previous sections that are very loud, very boisterous. Just throw those lights out there whenever it's like that. Uh, the moments that I like to use ring rotations and small ring zoom um, depend, but what I'm doing here is I'm doing them about every, is that eight count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I'm doing them. I'm not sure music wise if that's like, if you would call that a measure with eight counts, um, but I do it every eight counts. Crying you in with me and then the zoom out. In the on my soul's burning like a cigarette. So there's just a lot that you can do when it comes to lighting. Um, so many people, other mappers, have created some amazing light shows that you should definitely check out. Um, but really, if you're wanting to get into lighting, the best way to start is just experimenting. And looking. you can look at what other people have done and check out their ideas. Go, go check out their ideas, see what you like, see what gets you excited, try to recreate those and imitate those. Um, imitation is the best form of flattery. And eventually, with all the toil that you put into it, uh, you can definitely make uh, your own amazing light show. One thing I will recommend, though, is definitely like what I've done is I made one map that was solely a light show. And this gives you... If you take the time to create something like this, it'll definitely help you boost your confidence um, in, in making lighting for your maps. Anyhow, uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot them uh, in the comments or at me. Um, and I'll try my best to give you some advice. Also, uh, hop into the mapping discord uh, in the mappers discussion and you can always share your thoughts, share your ideas and what you're working on with other people and they can also give you feedback. I hope this helps and I hope everyone has a good day.